What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. And today I have a really special video for you guys. I get a lot of questions asking why I decided to do medicine. Uh, maybe you're applying to medicine or maybe you're just curious. Uh, so what I did is I got a bunch of my friends who are all medics to answer the question about why they decided to pursue a career in medicine. So I'm gonna let them talk first and let them give their reasons as to why they chose to do medicine. And then right to the end, I'll come in and give my reason. So I hope you find this video helpful and I hope it adds some value to your life. Um, if you could please just take two seconds to give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. Um, it really helps the channel grow and really helps these videos reach more people. So yeah, uh, let's get the video started. Hi guys, uh, my name's Jay, I'm a second in Medicare at Kings. Um, and so the reason why I chose medicine, um, so I've got quite a personal reason. Um, that's something I definitely encourage if you can. Just because, you know, if you've got sort of short anecdotes um, that you can you know, mention your personal statement, um, the admissions tutors are going to remember you quite quite well when you're when they're, uh, comparing yourself to other people. So my grandma at home, she's been quite ill pretty much her whole life. Um, and I've lived with her um, at home pretty much my whole life too. And so I've seen sort of, you know, how the district nurses and the doctors come over and treat her really, really nicely. And when she goes to hospital visits herself, I've seen how um, again, you know, doctors have been really, really caring towards her, always put her knees first. Uh, basically, she's paralysed from the neck down, and so you know she can't do a lot of the things that we can do. So it's nice to see how doctors do, you know, prescribe medicine, do a lot of things for her, um, and just basically put a smile on her face because, as I say, yeah, she can't, um, she can't do any movements at all. So that's something that you know, having seen the kindness and the compassion that they show, that's something that I want to emulate myself. So that's the first reason, and the other reason is again, it's sort of a personal experience. But my GP, they've looked after myself and my family pretty much my whole life. So she's seen me grow up from like the young boy I was, you know, to to myself now. Again, being able to have that continuity of care, you know, seeing the same people over a long period of time, seeing them develop, is really really nice. I particularly, remember when I had chicken boxes at a young age, and she, you know, explained the really difficult concept to me really really clearly, and those things sort of stay with you pretty much your whole life. And, when you come across really, really good doctors, as I say, you, you do tend to remember them. Um, so they're sort of, you know, a couple of different role models that I've had. And that sort of combined with the fact that, you know, I really enjoy my science and the fact that it's quite obviously um, quite like a stable career once you graduate, um, sort of put all those facts together. And that's, yeah, that's why I wanted to be a doctor and do medicine. Hi, so my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student here at King's. There are a lot of reasons that I decided to study medicine, but one of those reasons was that I was always going to be continuously challenged. And I feel like whether that's in my lectures when I'm learning about different content or different theory that I'm learning about, and especially when dealing with patients as well, learning to talk and communicate with patients, reach difficult topics, and constantly have to think on my feet and do all kinds of different skills at the same time. I feel like that aspect of medicine of continuously pushing me towards my limits is something that I really enjoy and something that makes me want to pursue medicine and continue learning more and more as I become a doctor. So another reason that I decided to choose to study medicine was more about the experiences that I had while I was in high school and while I was at university. I always sort of knew that I wanted to study medicine, but I didn't know what that really meant until I went into the hospital, until I went into research labs, and I was able to shadow people working in the profession and seeing how they dealt with their patients, seeing how much of an impact their work was having on a patient's lives, both on a day-to-day -day basis and long-term in terms of things like research, that is kind of what motivated me as well and drove me towards pursuing a medical career. You know, a lot of people say I want to do medicine because I want to help people. And at the end of the day, it does boil down to that. And you do have a lot of opportunity to help people both in an acute setting, you know, right there and then and also long term and over time. Um, so a bunch of things combined together, including those two things, is why I decided to study medicine. Hi, so my name is Atisa. I've gotten into the Graduate Entry Medicine Program at Birmingham. I'll be starting in September. So the reason why I wanted to start medicine is because I started going down a research route. And when I started going down that route, I realised that actually what I'm really passionate about isn't just the science, but it's also being able to communicate that science with patients and to be able to apply that in a clinical setting. So that was my reason for wanting to start medicine. Yeah, my name's Kareem. I'm a second year medical student at King's. So for me, I always like I was really fascinated with the human body from an early age. Like, that sounds weird, but I was always fascinated with it. And I wanted a kind of course or I wanted to study more that let me learn about it, but not sit in a lab. Because when I found that side of science, it didn't really appeal to me too much. I wanted to be hands on. I wanted to be helping. I wanted to actually feel like I was making a difference like there and then. So yeah, I guess I kind of got into it for that reason. And then when I learned more about what the course actually entails, so I went to like open days and then I saw more about what it was like, oh, work experience, work experience. I went to work experience. And that was when I realized, yeah, this is the, the degree, the course for me, man, this is, that's it.
Hey guys, my name is Sean. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Central Lancashire and I am here to talk a little bit about why I wanted to study medicine. So coming from my background, my family started a foundation, a children's foundation that used to help um, kids in our country from unfortunate backgrounds and kids who had disabilities, severe disabilities, and they didn't have access to public health care that could help them. The most, the most unfortunate thing was that majority of these cases had to be taken to the neighboring country, South Africa, to use their healthcare system because they were advanced enough to take on those type of um, those type of cases. And I think this is where I sort of had a light bulb moment and thought to myself, as well as my parents, um, about why don't we have these type of resources back here at home? Why don't we have doctors who can do this? So it came down to the issue of education. So, you know, our country is a developing country and everybody's busy trying to pitch in. Everybody's trying to do that bit. My thought, the thing that really clicked the most with me was medicine. So fast forward a few years into the future, I get a scholarship to come to UK given by my government, which I'm very grateful for. And I get into the University of Birmingham where I meet Kenji. Then it's actually in... The, during that degree, during my biomed degree, why I wanted to study medicine got tested because I started to go through strenuous periods. I started to, you know, have very low moods because I would just feel the immense pressure of what was demanded of me to be, to apply into, to get into medicine, especially with the international cohort. And I really, at one point, I really, I really contemplated not going into medicine anymore. But the experience that really changed my mind was when I was volunteering at the hospice. And there was this one lady who I had had a very lovely conversation with. And, you know, her husband comes in and we are always chatting. And, you know, I would regularly keep meeting them on the evenings that I was coming in because that's when the husband would come in and that's when we'd have that chat. And I was volunteering as a uh, trolley, as a trolley volunteer. So I would be moving food in, taking dirty dishes away and making sure the patients were uh, comfortable and just having a chat with them. I came one day to clock in for my shift and I see her door is closed and I automatically knew straight away that she had passed away. And I think it was a very tough thing. It was a tough pill to swallow. I sort of froze when I was moving the food up and about because I couldn't believe that she was actually gone. I sort of just forgot that I was actually in a hospice and I forgot that some of these patients would be receiving palliative care. And the thing that really got to me wasn't you know i wish i had the skills to solve the issues that she had it wasn't anything deep like that i think the thing that really got to me was when the husband stepped out of the room after seeing his wife and he came to me and said thank you for making the last few days of her life the most pleasant you were a very nice person to talk to and I think she really did appreciate that. And I could see it, that genuine gratitude in his eyes, you know, behind the tears. And at the same time as feeling bad, I felt a very great sense of satisfaction because I was happy that even though I didn't have much to give, I gave her everything. I gave her what I could. And I spoke to her and I, I was there for her as a, as a human being. And I think that's what really re-sparked my flame for medicine was because I realized that above the medication and above all the technology and above all the, you know, the fancy innovations we're going to come up with, the one thing that patients really appreciate from us is having somebody to hold their hand through that process and to help them get to a better place. And here I am. So that's, that's my why. So I decided to pursue a career in medicine when I was around 14 years old. Um, I was born and bred in Kenya and every so often my school and I would go to local slums. Um, I think it was called Kibera slums. Um, so we'd go to local slums and would volunteer to help build infrastructure. Uh, we'd play football with the local kids and we'd also hold debates. Being able to see what life was like for less fortunate people really highlights the harsh reality of the world we live in. Um, a world where sometimes um, things like um, access to healthcare 
and education can be taken for granted. And having lived in England and Japan as well, I was able to see the contrast between these different worlds. Um, and I kind of realized around that point what becoming a doctor can do, not only for me, uh, not only for my family, but for the rest of the world um, as well. So my ultimate goal is to train as a doctor in the UK, uh, get qualified in the UK, and then change lives um, and save lives of the people within the UK on the NHS, and also to one day go back to the people that left in Kenya um, and hopefully change their lives as well. So that's the reason I decided to do medicine. Right, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has given you more of an idea about as to why medical students decided to pursue a career in medicine. Hopefully it's inspired you as well uh, to do medicine and has given you some value to your life. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed as well. Uh, follow me on all my social media as well. And I'd also be really interested to, to hear uh, why you decided to do medicine. What I really love about you guys is that in the comments, you always help each other out. You always like, you know, talk to each other and discuss different things. Um, so I'm sure everyone would like to hear why you wanted to do medicine and maybe you can all share ideas um, and, and inspire each other as well. So let me know in the comment down below why you want to do medicine. I want to be reading the comments and I'd be really interested to find out. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.